Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve and graph two-step inequalities. Now, when we solve two-step inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations. So this is very similar to solving two-step equations. If you can solve an equation, you can solve an inequality. One thing we need to be aware of though, when it comes to inequalities, remember, we flip the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. And then once we solve the inequality, we can graph the solutions all of the values that make the inequality true. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative 6x plus 15 is greater than or equal to 27. Now here, just like with a two-step equation, we want to undo the addition first. We go in the reverse order of operations to undo the operations and isolate the variable. So we need to undo the addition first and then the multiplication. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So subtract 15 from the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other in order to keep the inequality balanced. So subtract 15 from the right side as well. Now on the left side, these 15s cancel each other out. So we have negative 6x is greater than or equal to, and then on the right, 27 minus 15 gives us 12. So now we have negative 6x is greater than or equal to 12. X is being multiplied by negative 6, so we need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division, so let's divide the left side by negative six. That means we need to divide the right side by negative six as well. Now remember, when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips, it changes direction. So as far as the left side, these negative sixes cancel each other out. X is now isolated, the inequality symbol flips, and then on the right side, 12 divided by negative six gives us negative two. Basically, as soon as we divided both sides by that negative six, the inequality symbol flips in order to keep the inequality true. So our final answer, x is less than or equal to negative two. So x can be any value less than or equal to negative two. Now let's graph that answer on a number line. And remember, a filled circle means we are including the number and an open circle means we are not including the number. So let's start with our number line here and we'll put negative two with a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. And again, since x is less than or equal to negative two, negative two is included, we need a filled circle. Now we need to represent the less than part. We need all of the values less than negative two represented. So we need an arrow going left, the direction of all of the values less than negative two. And that's our graph. And lastly, let's check something that's less than negative two to make sure it works and we are correct. So let's plug in negative three, four X and see what we get. So we have negative six times negative three plus 15 is greater than or equal to 27. Negative six times negative three gives us 18. And then 18 plus 15 gives us 33. And 33 is greater than or equal to 27. So that did work, we are correct here. And let's actually check negative two as well since x can be equal to negative two. And we will do this mentally. So we have negative six times negative two, that gives us 12. 12 plus 15 gives us 
27. And 27 is greater than or equal to 27. So negative two works as well. Let's move on to number two, where we have n over four minus eight is greater than one. So we need to undo the subtraction first using the inverse operation, addition. So add eight to the left side. That means we need to add eight to the right side. Now on the left, these cancel each other out. So we have n over four, is greater than, and then on the right side, one plus eight gives us nine. Now we have n divided by four is greater than nine. So we need to undo that division using the inverse operation, multiplication. So multiply the left side by four and the right side by four. On the left side, these cancel each other out n is now isolated, so we have n is greater than, and then on the right side, 9 times 4 is 36. So this is our answer. n is greater than 36. n can be any value greater than 36. Now we can graph, and we will start with the number line here. We have 36. And we can put a couple of numbers on both sides, so 34. 35, 36, 37, 38. So we need an open circle at 36 to show that it's not included. So now we need to represent n being greater than 36. So we need an arrow going right, the direction of all of the values greater than 36. And that's our graph. And lastly, let's check something that's greater than 36 to make sure it works. Let's use 40, so plug in 44n here. That will work nicely with the four since we are dividing here. So 40 divided by four minus eight is greater than one. 40 divided by four gives us 10, and 10 minus eight is two. Two is greater than one, so we are correct here. So there you have it. There's how to solve and graph two-step inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.